Happy Thursday, everyone. I hope today was a wonderful day for all of you at home. If you have any outdoor activities planned later on tonight, here's the temperatures that you could expect over the next several hours. Notice by 9 o'clock tonight, temperatures will already be in the upper 70s, so it will be very comfortable. Short sleeve shorts. Those will be very appropriate for anything later on tonight. What about tomorrow when you're taking the kids off to school? Temperatures once again in the mid to upper 70s tomorrow morning at that school time hour. And you could also dress your kids in short sleeves and shorts tomorrow as well because our temperatures will be warmer, a little bit warmer than it was today. But right where we should be at this time of year, we're looking at a forecast high of 91 in El Paso, 89 in Las Cruces, 81 in Guadalupe Pass, and 87 in Alamogordo. And we will continue to warm over the next several days as well, just about a degree or two each day for the week ahead. What about rain? Not looking so good on the rain front. The reason why is because we have high pressure overhead, which helps to block out a lot of our rain chances. If we see any storms, it'll probably be up on the area mountains, some rain showers, some thunderstorms. A few could move into the lowlands, but I'm not really expecting much rain activity for the next several days ahead. Of course, we're all dreaming about the weekend. What is it going to be like? It will be a great weekend to enjoy the pool. So we're looking at a high of 93 on Saturday, 95 on Sunday with very limited rain chances. So you got the green light from me, especially to go out to the pool. But if the pool is in your thing or well, no, we're going to stay on the pool thing. Actually, <laughs> your UV index is going to be at a very high level for Friday, Saturday and Sunday. So what that means is you better be wearing your sunscreen. You have to protect your skin out there. Now we're changing subjects if you are a gardener. Here's what you could be planting this weekend. Some flowers of, that you could pick, dahlias, foxgloves, poppies. Those will be good to plant this time of year. Fruits and veggies. You want to plant some leafy greens as well as broccoli, cabbage, and cauliflower. That is perfect for this time of year. Or if you don't like the pool, or you might like the pool, but you'd rather go to a football game, the season kickoff opener for the UTEP Miners is this Saturday at 7 o'clock versus the North Texas Mean Green. So at the at kickoff, which is at 7, temperatures will be in the upper 80s, slowly cooling down to the low 80s by your drive home. Not a good chance of rain for your Saturday, which is a good thing, of course, for the football games and the winds will be light. Or maybe you'd rather go to NMSU their season kickoff. They will be playing Nevada, Reno, not Las Vegas, where I'm from. So they're going to be playing the Wolf Pack, and the game starts at 8 o'clock. So temperatures will be a little bit cooler and then cooling off a little bit cooler as well with overall calm winds and ending up in the upper 70s for your day on Saturday. Saturday evening, that is. The 70 forecast sponsored by Mattress Room looks like this, and I'm going to go in depth into the seven day forecast. 91 is your high for tomorrow, and that's exactly what we should be seeing this time of year. So I'm giving it a green light with limited rain chances and those limited rain chances will stick around as well through Saturday through Sunday a little bit better chance on your Sunday and Monday as well then looking ahead for Tuesday of next week our temperatures are looking to be dropping back to even below the seasonable temperatures with a slight increase in rain chances just know we could see a couple of thunderstorms each day but overall most of them will just be up on the mountains we'll be right back